excuse me hello everybody welcome to the sound test room um all right hello everybody welcome to the sound test room today we are taking a look at the um kq sampei from the same developer as kq dixie and it's a little sound font uh play sound fonts it says sample load i can't get it to sample i don't know i don't it's not it's not a kind of sample play sound fonts general midi file stuff like that it's so yeah it's a high wall high wall um yeah it but basically right so this is the auv3 version if we take a quick look at the actual standalone so I'll do this and open up the standalone you can stack up to 16 there's a, there's four here you can stack up to 16 so this is the standalone you'll see it's on MIDI channel 2, MIDI channel 3, MIDI channel 4, but we can set all these to kind of, um, if we want it to be. So now we've got a mix between the piccolo. This is a standalone, by the way. It comes with a, a really good general MIDI sound set. Uh, it's really, really nice. This is Obviously, this is it, because I haven't installed anything else, and I'm not likely to, because it's not my kind of thing, but... So you can you can do you can also right so you can have it six it's sixteen part multi timbral so you can import it comes with this kind of um, this uh, sound font uh, this uh, MIDI file full MIDI file set. Which is quite nice if you want to listen to seven minutes twenty seconds of it. Um, then you can change you can change the color. Lots of color options and things. Um, it's it's got tons of preferences that you can mess around with. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm not like super enthusiastic because I feel like a bag of crap. Um, my arm is absolutely killing me. This fifth injection. I'm not even kidding. So I you know I had the fifth COVID injection yesterday. This is, I absolutely feel awful, and my arm is really killing. This is absolutely the worst one. However, I want to show you this. So we're going to open it up. I had Fugue Machine playing for them then. It's dead easy to set that up in Fugue Machine, obviously. You just look at MIDI outputs, and you go, you want Playhead 1 to go to, like, KQ Sampei 1. And then you can mess around with it and play all of this. But it, it does sound really, really nice. So if I, for instance, open up a audio unit version of this again, and I'll connect my uh, key lab here. So and we'll open it up and we'll have a look. So yes, here we go. So that's, you get this um, instrument and you have, um, and it does sound really nice. Actually, it really does. So. tomorrow thanks horse <laughs> before I go any further I'd like to say um, strike the like hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed consider becoming a patron help support me and Joe or making a super chat super sticker or a one-off donation or a super thanks if you're watching later So nice piano. What is nice is you get quite a lot of control. So it's similar to BS16, you know, it plays sound fonts. You can import sound fonts. Again, not something I'm going to do. You can also import DLS files, which is similar to sound fonts, I think. Not sure, never import. Thanks, Stephen. Oh, bless you, mate. Thank you. Stephen Rim is quickly becoming the king of hardware sequences. What's nice is you have the volume, the expression, you have the, the pan for each instrument as well, of course. So this is so this is one layer. How is the attack sound on the sound font? I'll, well, I'll, 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 I'll show you. So you have a reverb as well. 
So <clears throat> on AUV3, obviously you get one layer per instance, just like in being 16. If you're running it in standalone, you can have up to 16 parts. <laughs> attack <clears throat> and this is the included sound set that you get so we're going to basically run through a ton of the sound so you can see how it how it works how it how it sounds so so you also have, it's a bipolar attack, decay and release, which is quite interesting because it means you can make the, you can make the attack transient even snappier. And you can also play with the release. What is nice is it also has a filter. Okay, so here's a couple of things to note. Presets, I, I'm not really sure how this works, but you can save a preset. I think you can basically save a preset as a bunch of things, but they work better as the standalone version sort of thing because uh, a preset could be like up to eight, four or five parts or, or how many up to 16 parts you want. You can reset this as well and save, close. Um, let's see, uh, close this a sec. But the way you change all the patches is in here where it says patch and you can go look all sound from all sound sets, all banks. Um, basically it's this, it's the, it's the, um, the general MIDI sound set. So. Yamaha sounds like Yamaha ground. Grand. How's the DSP? Two three point two percent, three point eight, I guess it's depend two point four. I guess it's really depending on the sound. Does it have more features? Well, not really hot. It's it's just you know it's a, it, it, that <laughs> it's like BS sixteen. All it does is play sound fonts, you know, and uh, MIDI files, of course. What's nice is when you start stacking them and playing them 
together, you know. So we can do this with, obviously we can do this with just the instruments as well. We can load in, <coughs> God. we can load in a, 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 another one here, have it played by my key lab, um, MIDI, and I've got two. So we could maybe set this one to say something like, um, Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's see some, maybe some strings or something because of organ. So now I've got some, and you see the really good quality sound fonts. Well. So I'm just gonna have a play around. Let's do something uh, a little bit more interesting, shall we? So let's clear clear this out. Let's make it. I'll just I'll just save it because I've got to save everything. Um, and we'll make a new uh, clear this project. We'll make a new project. I'll put some MIDI stuff in. Uh, a couple of these, and let's see what we can do. So I'm going to uh, open up a MIDI processor and. Um, I think um, we'll try, I'm not sure if this will work actually, we'll try Polybeat and I'll open up, um, Jewel. where is it gone, KQ Sampai, here's a pie, and we'll go and find the drum kit, um, so, <clears throat> let's see, let's see, I think there's, if I go, if I look, start looking for sound sets, there's probably some in here, Banks maybe, um, No. Bank zero. No. I'll just look for the drum kit in, in 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 the sound sets. So but we'll just find one down here. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh shakahatchies, I like them. Um Drums, tech drums, and drums. Got to be some drum kits in here somewhere. Probably gone past them. There is drums in here because I was playing them earlier. Standard drums, room drums, power drums, electronic drums. Let's just try some, let's just try some room, room drums. I'm gonna have to hook them up to my keyboard, <clears throat> just for now. Okay, let's open up uh, Polybeat 
and let's just set it to general MIDI. So mapping at okay, it's already it's already on a general MIDI map. So theoretically, we should be able to put in some kicks, and it should be mapped. Um, and it's obviously connected to KQ MIDI outputs to. Okay, cool beans. Okay. So I think that's a I think that's a pretty good drum drum sound. And of course Change that sound out. Nice. Run some of these on. I'm going to put Autony in here. Might have it in here. That's what I did. Mm, interesting. Doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> oh, let's. Yeah, let's put chord jam in. Let's generate some chords for chord jam. Let's get a nice piano sound. MIDI output to this one.
let's make another one and hook that up to chord jam as well. So we've got some pad sounds.
It's actually pretty good on CPU. That was running at about 36, 36, something like that. But don't forget now with the new, <clears throat> the awesome new update, you can see exactly what's pulling what just by holding on a node and dragging over and you'll see that the percentage at the top here uh, that the actual app is using. So that's, that's really nice. Let's load another one in, shall we? And play a few more sounds. Obviously these sounds benefit from using effects and stuff you know obviously but there are some there are some nice sounds in here you know if we scroll sort of down a lot there's lots of I think I'm on I'm on the wrong one here so which one am I on oh yeah I'll just disconnect this from me um, key lab and connect it up here <clears throat> <laughs> um let's see let's see let's see howling winds So I mean, it does have. I think it's. I think it's five. Do you see five dollars ninety nine? I'll just have a quick check. I've got it up here. I think it's five ninety nine. Um, so supports a part of common MIDI messages. GM, XGS, XG, MPE. Oh, you could MPE as well. Includes an MIDI file player. Supports standard MIDI files, and riff MIDI files. Also supports multiple ports and loops. Yeah, you should just check it out. It's not bad for the price. You get a lot of... Decent, usable sounds, you know? And you can sound very 80s as well if you want to. <laughs> Street Blues, I got you.
Tons of usable sounds are really nice, actually. Um, 
So it's basically it's general MIDI sound set. You know what I mean? I don't know what all this stuff is going on about. I think it's it's just I don't know. for joining me this evening where we took a look at KQ Sampai AUV3 sampler synthesizer play sounds from Fizz Miles really Miles and you can import your own stuff as well uh, not dissimilar to BS16 of course um, developer also gave us KQ Dixie which has if you want to troll through the internet for uh DX7 FM patches, there are literally tens of thousands of them that you can get for free off there. Uh, thanks, Wall. I, oh, Wall, I'm really chuffed that that Drambo video helped. I think it's got a really nice, rich sound, it, even with its own banks, you know. set of decent stock sounds and don't forget in standalone you can set this up to be uh, up to 16 part multi timbral I'll play the little, I'll play the little jam thing. We'll fade a few bits and pieces in there just for fun. I should have set up mini mixes, shouldn't I? And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow with some other, some, some other crazy, crazy ideas we can dream up. Who knows? Don't forget, still time to super chat and super thanks. <laughs>
Bryant. <laughs>